Welcome to our review on rate and temperature. The next thing we need to do in our revision videos is to consider the different factors that can affect the rate at which a chemical reaction occurs. So we're going to start off by looking at temperature. Now you should have done an experiment in class and the chemicals you used could be a range of different ones. But the key idea here is that you've increased the temperature of them. So you've got a range of different temperatures that you've carried it out at. One example could have been using sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid, which goes that cloudy color once you've actually carried out the reaction. So when you can't see crosses underneath it, you know the reaction's done. When you carried out your experiment, what you should find is that when we increase the temperature, the rate of reaction also increases. Now, the reason for that is that as we increase the temperature, the particles within our chemicals gain kinetic energy. So as a result of having more kinetic energy, they move faster. And then as a result, they have more frequent successful collisions. And this is the key phrase to remember when we're talking about rates of reaction. More frequent successful collisions is your go to term. So they're more frequent because they're moving faster and therefore will collide more frequently. And they're successful because the energy with which they collide will exceed that of the activation energy. When we're talking about the rate of reaction, we can say that it's inversely proportional to the reaction time. So remember that the time for a chemical reaction that's got a high rate of reaction is going to actually be very short, hence inversely proportional. What that actually means is that if you divide one by the time, then we end up with a directly proportional relationship to the rate. So we can summarize that using the symbol at the bottom there is that one over the reaction time is directly proportional to the rate of reaction. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe and explain the effect of changes in temperature on the rate of reaction, making sure that you do use that phrase, more frequent successful collisions.